Hey, what's going on guys? It's IT Tech Reviews here. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick way to record your Android device screen. So basically you'll be needing a capture card in this method. Uh, preferably get this one. I got it off eBay for $160 with shipping handling. Uh, here's a part number. It's a StarTech card. Uh, here are some of the system requirements you need to run this card. Um, also for this project, you'll be needing some general knowledge uh, in computers, uh, hooking up the, this capture card to your computer, as well as installing the drivers and the software needed to run this capture card. So uh, here's also the CD that comes in the package, as well as it comes with an adapter. Um, it's a male DVI adapter to a female VGA. So it's uh, really important you have this comes in the package so don't lose it uh, you also be needing the VGA cable here that I have uh, mail to mail and you'll be needing this adapter got it off deal extreme for a couple dollars I'll be posting the link and price in the description as well it's important you get this one because you need both the male uh, micro USB and female mic micro USB it also comes with a line out input but we won't be needing that uh, so basically you want to hook this cable up like I did all the adapters make sure everything's nice and tightly screwed in so nothing disconnects you'll be needing your uh, Android device I have tested this only on the Galaxy Nexus and the Nexus 7 works on the Galaxy Nexus but doesn't work on the Nexus 7 haven't really had too much time to test it on the Nexus 7 so maybe I'll play around with the settings and get it to work shortly I'll let you know in the description on what devices it works and what devices it doesn't work on unfortunately I only have a limited amount of devices so sorry for that you guys are gonna have to help me out with that so continue hooking up the cables to your computer like I did so I'll make sure everything's tightly screwed in and let's go ahead and now hook up um, the rest. You'll be needing a power source for this, so that's why we have the female, um, the female micro USB on this adapter. So you wanna go ahead and get a micro USB cable and either hook it up to your computer or another power source. And after you're done plugging that, this into your uh, adapter, you wanna just get your phone and you want to plug your phone into the male component into the female port on your phone so I'm a little ahead of the video right now so you want to plug everything on like so you want to just turn on your screen just to make sure something's being displayed and now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you on the software it's uh, the screen capturing software I'm gonna show you what settings you have to run for it to be displayed on and for you to be able to record the screen so um, here are the settings these are the device settings uh, just one just match up your settings to mine click OK after you're finished here are the recording settings also match mine press OK and um, pretty sure that's it for settings And as you could see there in the um, preview screen, you could see my device preview. So everything's good, everything's running. Let's go ahead and show you the settings again here. We're just gonna go to default. And as you could see here, my screen is being displayed, no lag whatsoever, high definition recording. Uh, so this method does work, as I said previously. It works with the Galaxy Nexus. It I haven't gotten to work with the Nexus 7 yet so uh, you you guys are taking your own risk trying to run this uh, method on any other devices I will be testing it further on the Nexus 7 as well as I will use my old uh, Galaxy or Samsung Galaxy S2X so I'll test it on that as well and if it works I'll be letting you know in the description on what devices it works and what it on what devices it doesn't work if you could also let me know in the comments from you guys which devices it works on and which ones it doesn't that'd be great so thanks for watching guys I'll also be making another video with an HDMI adapter I, I actually received one and 
I, I lost it maybe 15 minutes after receiving it. I have no idea where I put it. My house is a mess right now. As you know, it's under renovation and stuff like that. So I just placed an order for another one and a longer HDMI cable because the one I ordered is just extremely short. So just stay tuned a couple more weeks and I'll be testing it with the HDMI adapter. Quality will obviously be much better than the current one, but even this method is really good and I don't guarantee that the HDMI adapter method will work. It's all about testing and trying to figure out what will work and what won't. So thanks for watching again. Subscribe, stay tuned, more videos to come. See you.